this video will be drawing condensation polymers. Okay, so condensation polymers is formed by a reaction between two different monomers. Okay, and these monomers have functional groups such as uh, the alcohol group, hydroxy group. They have functional groups like the amine group. Okay, so this is one possible combination. And on the other side, we have functional groups like the uh, carboxyl group, the one that's for the carboxylic acid. Okay, so what happens is that in condensation reactions, right, remember when we go back to the definition of condensation reaction is I join two things together with the production of a small molecule. And this small molecule will most likely be water, so H2O. And what I want you to notice is that for H2O, there must be something that has the OH and something that has the H over here. Okay, so what happens here is that I want you to have a good uh, idea, this we learn in acidification about cancelling the atoms and then joining it together. So for water is H2O, so from the acid side I will take out H and O and from the alcohol side I will take out H. So what I will do is that I will join this with this part and I join it together to get my ester. Then what about the other one? Oh, I also can do this. I use a different color green, I can cancel this H and I cancel this H and then this part this part over here can join with here to form the amide and later we can see okay so let's take a look huh? so let's look at this I got two monomers uh, today I'll be using shapes to represent the center but it can be like a lot of carbons or anything else so over here I got my dicarboxylic acid let's write it down dicarboxylic I don't like this Di carboxylic acid and over here I have my diamine okay so what's going to happen is that I remember that water is going to come out so I need to cancel on over here O and H cancel O and H cancel okay do that with me so what happens is that I left C double bond O a circle based on the diagram C double bond O and a bond. So it's left open like that. Okay, left open like that. So what is going to join next to it? So we look at the diamine. I'm going to cancel out. I already cancel out O and a H. So I need to cancel out one more H. So I cancel out this H. Cancel out this H. Can I cancel the one on top? Sure. It makes no difference. But I think it's easier to see if I cancel the one here. So what do I have here? I have an N. I have a H. I have a box and then I have an N and a H like that. So I have these two monomers that I've removed both sides. Okay. And then I got this. So what do you do now is that you join these two cut up parts together. Oh no, let me join it nicely. Okay, I got my two cut up parts like that. And then this is my polymer. So then what do I do? I put my brackets here, here, and then I write an N because there are many repeating units, right? So you can see that this is a condensation polymer because it's like C circle C N square N. We look at this ah uh, C circle uh, C circle C N square N. So is this the same? C circle C and square N. So it is the same. The repeating unit again like what we have learned is basically the polymer just without the N. So we have this because we just want to show one unit that is repeating. Like that. Okay, with the brackets. So another thing that you need to know is uh, this guy here. So this has a name and you need to know the name. This is called my amide link or my amide group or my amide bond. Okay, either one. Amide link, amide group, amide bond, right? And this shows that this is a polyamide. Now, there are many examples of polyamides around and one of the most common polyamides that you will know is actually proteins. So proteins consist of many, many of these very, very strong amide bonds or amide links. 
right? So amide is an example of a protein. You know, protein is a form of an amide, sorry, the other way. Okay, so I'm given my monomer, I can draw my polymer. Now let's look at the next one. I'm given my polymer and I now I want to draw my monomer. So what, see this is the strategy I'm going to teach you. So let's find for a C double bond O. So I look from the left side first. Huh? So I found this guy over here, C double bond O. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this because this is my ester link. Remember my ester group, my ester bond from where you learn. So I'm going to cut this here and then I'm going to cut my ester bond, cut my ester bond, cut my ester bond, cut my ester bond. So one thing that you should have noticed is that there's a C double bond O circle on one side of the ester bond. And then on the other ester bond, I have a circle, square, circle. Right? See this part over here? Yeah. And this one over here. Okay, there's two parts to it, All right? So then, these are my two parts to my polymer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw them up first. So C, double bond O. Okay, step by step. And then I got my O. So now, I need to make a decision. Let's say you didn't remember, okay? But you know that there's going to be water coming out. So it's either going to be adding a H or adding an OH. So let us think. Uh, have I learned anything that looks like this? Right? Like this. Not in secondary school, right? You have never learned anything like this in secondary school. Maybe higher levels you might learn something like that. Okay? But no, not in secondary school. What about adding a OH like that? Have you learned something that looks like this in secondary school? No, we haven't learned something like this in secondary school. Not in secondary school. But what happens if I add the OH here like that? Does that work? Yeah, that's a carboxylic acid. So it's on the other side, it's a carboxylic acid. And then I add the OH, then the H I add over here. So this is my dicarboxylic acid. And this one have a special name. This is called a diol, as in dialcohol. Okay, so I dicarboxylic acid, react with my diol. Is that okay? Okay, let's look at the next example. So again, next example, let me find my ester bond. So I see one ester, almost an ester bond here. I think this is the next one is an O, right? So I cancel this, I cut here, I cut, I cut, I cut. And then I realized, hey, wait, there's, a, there's something interesting here. I only have repeating units of this style, right? Not two repeating units. So over here, I'll have a C double bond O, Circle C double bond O O and then I have a repeating unit like this. But this one, the repeating unit seems to be very interesting. I only seem to have one repeating unit like that. How come that's the case? Oh, so this is actually a very special case, right? So let's take a look at this uh repeating unit. So I'm going to convert them into a monomer. So I'm going to take what I cut like previously, C double bond O, circle, <coughs> and then an O. Then I remember, ah, I must add a H2O, right? I must add in a H2O. So what do I do? One side might add a H, one side might add O. So I think, which side should I add the H? Which side should I add the O? If I add it like this, it looks really strange, right? We have never seen this before. So why not we add the OH on this side? And then I add my H on this side. And then, da, I got something. This is the monomer. On one side, I have my carboxylic acid group. And on the other side, I have my hydroxy group. Okay, so this one can do a polymerization by itself. Okay, so because it has a carboxylic acid group and then an alcohol group on one side. Now let's look at the next one. I'm given this monomer and this is of terylene. And you need to know terylene. You need to know that this terylene in your syllabus is a polyester. Polyester is used to make clothes, right? Uh, my clothes is cotton, but there are some polyester clothes around, right? So over here, I need to be able to identify that, ah, this is an alcohol, right? And I need to know that, ah, this is a 
carboxylic acid. So if you have problem interpreting this, let me draw it for you. The alcohol will look something like this. Does this seem more common now? Right? And then you and then the uh, carboxylic acid will look something like that. Right? Looks more familiar, right? So then remember what I told you, water must come out. So I cancel the H and the O. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The H and then this one, the H and the O, the H, the H and the O. So what do I have left? I left uh, O, CH2, CH2, O, right? That is going to bond with a C double bond O, and then this weird shape over here that I'm just going to replicate and then C double O like that. So I got two of these that I removed the water already. So water has been removed because it's a condensation reaction. And then I would just take this and then join it here. And then because it's a polymer, put N. Right? And then we can see that this is where my ester on is so we can see this is going to be an O as a group a O a C a group C and then next one would be also go back here a O and then this O as the group weird shape C and then O okay so that is all for drawing condensation polymer I hope you get enough practice all right uh, see you for the next video bye